Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, April the 4th, entitled Choice Wine. Now, this story that we read today about Jesus turning the water into wine, his first miracle, is a very interesting story. Uh, it starts off that Jesus' mother comes to him. He's at this wedding uh, banquet, and they have run out of wine, which would have been a horrible embarrassment for this couple. Jesus' mother comes and tells him what's going on, and he goes, why are you involving me? It isn't my time. And she turns and just says, to do whatever he tells you to do. And sure enough, Jesus tells them something to do. He has them fill these stone water pitchers, these massive things. And then says, dip some out, take it to the master of the feast. And when he tastes it, his declaration is, uh, this wine is absolutely amazing. Most people bring out the good wine first, and then after everyone has had too much to drink, then they bring out the inferior. But you've saved the best till last, he says, the, uh, the head of the groom. And at that moment, it says that his disciples knew what had happened, and they placed their faith in him. But on the face of it, it's an odd miracle. Why would Jesus create wine, great wine, for people who are already drunk. It seems like, since the Bible says drunkenness is a sin, it would be an odd thing for him to do. Why would Jesus do something so out of character, we would possibly think? But the first thing is, as we look, I believe, uh, because the Bible doesn't make any commentary on actually why or, or give any background beyond what we just talked about, but I believe the first one is he wanted to honor his mother. I believe there was a respect there. Scripture says, honor your father and mother. The second one probably is even more important. That is Jesus consistently. We're going to see this as a principle of what Jesus would really do. He always prioritizes people above law and custom and everything else. In fact, he's going to come into a lot of, of friction with the Pharisees as we look through Scripture for healing people on the Sabbath when you're supposed to be resting, for providing food when you're supposed to be uh, not working, for doing... He's constantly doing things, and over and over he would say, if your ox fell in a ditch, you would help him. Why do you become so frustrated with me helping or healing or doing these things? And it's because it's not lawful. You're not supposed to be doing it now. But he always prioritized people over issues. The third thing that we see here is that when he does something, it is with excellence. That the best, he goes, you know, this is the, the choicest wine that I've tasted. And it's here at the very end after people couldn't really appreciate it. But it's because of the, the fact that when Jesus is going to do something, he's going to do it with quality. And then, of course, the last thing is his disciples knew what was going on. And it wasn't important that the master of the banquet know that anybody else knew. He wanted his disciples to see his character, his actions. So the takeaway. If we want to know what would Jesus do, he would do some things that on the surface seem a little odd. If it was to honor his mother, to see to it that he met the need of some people even if it meant a bunch of drunk people got more wine. And also to be able to allow his disciples to see that he cares for people, that he meets needs, because they were going to discover a lot of his character, that that was more important, as he would say to the Pharisees later. You should have mercy, not just works and actions to show your righteousness. So let's pray. Father, Lord, in this interesting miracle, we see Jesus prioritizing people above all. His mother, the people that would have been embarrassed at this banquet, over and over, he was meeting the needs of people. Father, I ask that you would open our understanding that we would be as concerned about people as we are about rules and regulations. Father, he said he didn't come to destroy a single rule, but people matter, and rules are not made to be over people but people to be empowered by those rules. Lord, give us that balance. Help us to see his proper balance. In Jesus' name, amen. More tomorrow. I'll see you then.